Time to play with some clay. Well, I'm heading over to uh, Paul's uh, storage area in the back of his uh, soon-to-be gallery, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we're going to load up these uh, molds. <laughs> in his uh, storage area behind his gallery. So let's get started here. Get my seatbelt on. Full of the old Nick <laughs> Well, Timmy, I'm, I'm glad you brought up that problem. Uh, that would interest the women voters, you know. Because standing here beside me now to interview you is a young lady from the Associated Press. How do you do, Nick? It's not quite 60 degrees. It's about 55. So it ain't exactly warm. Oh, there's some deer. My neighbors. This fence line here is the border of our town. I can't hunt deer in this area here, but across the fence I can hunt deer. There's a whole passel of them over there. Not that I would hunt these deer, these are my neighbors. Actually, I don't think I'd hunt deer at all. I'm not really a big fan of venison. But it's better than yesterday. Yesterday morning, there was about two inches of snow on the ground. And it was gone by the, af the afternoon because it was a uh, wet snow and I kind of figured that it would be gone before the evening anyway, so. This car is really riding low on my springs right now because I've probably got about a half a ton of uh, molds in the back of this van here <laughs> and on the front seat that's Paul <laughs> going to be putting these molds on this pallet here. I'm going to have to come back here and label all these at some point. Now what is this? The protector. Oh that's okay I know which one that is. Ah. <sighs> Eagle dancer. This is your uh, your bronze in this box. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure I can see the names. All right. Should we close this? Yeah. Oh, and turn off the lights too. I think I did that. I have a. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I got a little controller. 
Well, I'm glad that's done. Now it's just a matter of me coming out and sorting them out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk through the center down there and just let them see that too. All right, this is uh, something that uh, Paul's been doing. He got himself a greenhouse and uh, has been building. Wow, you're getting those plants are really coming up nicely. Yeah, all from seed. Yeah. Or a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, and it's nice and warm in here. That's what. <laughs> wow. What yeah, are you breaking things? What did I knock over? It's a temperature thing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Oh. I'm like a bull in a china closet. Yeah, you buy it, and you break it, you buy it. It's no big deal. You know, that's what I ought to call my gallery, my studio. What? Bull in a china closet. There you go. I got all kinds of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Where's your, where's your tomatoes? Is that tomatoes? Yeah, those are, t those are all tomatoes over there. I, just, I gotta get rid of this other stuff and plant it. Yeah. I'll be able to start planting this weekend. We're pretty much done with the frost. Wow. So... I'm glad I didn't have all this out there two days ago. Show us your fountain. Yeah. Uh. Just go through there. I'm going to plug it in. Okay. This used to be nothing right here. There were trees here, but there was no real garden here. And Paul has done all this. He made a fire pit over here for cooking chickens and whatever else over a spit he laid out all this rock here for this walkway and put all these bricks in here for the uh, border on his garden area this is the old holden wall gallery right next door here to the right and this is his gallery on the left This is beautiful right here. But when all the plants are going, man, this is unbelievable. All those hanging baskets, and there's tons of flowers. You got yeah. flowers going. What I'm doing over here is I put this lattice up. I have one more piece to put up. I'm putting up morning glories. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they'll be climbing this whole wall and flowering. That'd be pretty. Yeah. Now, who did the... Uh, Mike. Mike, what's his Who? Mike Toth. How do you spell his name? T O. SS or T O T H? T O T H, yeah. Mike Toth did that uh, crane. He's also doing the bull moose for the front. You've done a beautiful job here. Nice little water fountain. You made it so the kids can't be climbing on it. Well, they do anyways. Yeah, <laughs> well. <laughs> but it's all pretty much buckled down. So it's a nice little area, especially, well, it does, it's not really quiet because of the main street, but in the evening it gets a little lower in traffic and it starts getting a little quiet here and it's a peaceful little area to just sit and listen to the water dribble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit down for a second. This is ga the gallery as it is right now. He's still working on it, but it's going to be huge. How, how big is this space, Paul? Uh, down here, about 3,000 square feet. Wow. We might add an additional on the back. And back there is a little cabin in the back corner that uh, is going to be where artists will come and work on paintings inside. It's going to be kind of a neat little studio inside the gallery here. So eventually he'll get this thing open. It's going to be a dynamite gallery, probably one of the best ones in the, at least this area. All right, I gotta make a quick stop at the grocery store and back home. I'm glad that's done, but now the big job is gonna be going back and going through all those molds and labeling them so that I can find them easily. Um, and that's gonna take a few days to do that, but not be able to find the molds before uh, I get orders 
for a particular bronze I've got to be able to find the molds rather quickly and I have to find all parts of the mold there's a lot of pieces that uh, have more than one piece or one mold and uh, I've got to be able to find everything so that I can take it to whatever foundry I'll be working with so anyway I'm gonna head to the grocery store as soon as I don't hit somebody my video here uh, I'll see you I'll call I, I got an unknown caller coming in goodbye if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.